Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll take a look at this uh, question and I will also try to show you a bit more about uh, how to achieve it. Now this question from uh, this user is about uh, how to limit or I should say how to apply field level permissions on uh, on Jira. So the question is all about we have let us say certain fields in Jira and uh, the requirement is to make sure that only users of uh, a specific role can uh, edit those fields. Now this is of course a very common question that uh, people ask on the community because uh, this is definitely a very common thing that people want to do because uh, you know, you know let us say you have 10 different fields and uh, for some specific reason maybe you want to limit the edit rights or maybe view rights to specific role fields like budget or cost or dates or anything that can impact the work or the plan where money is involved i guess so you may want to limit it now natively there is no such feature and especially on cloud uh, it is of course not possible um, on server of course we can use uh, behaviors but the best way to achieve this and implement this particular requirement is to use uh, and rely on workflows now what you can do is uh, you can actually create uh, some kind of a transition in the workflow let us say you want you want to capture the budget from the users so what you can do you can uh, create a transition and uh, use a transition screen and display those uh, fields that you want those specific users or group or role of users to edit and uh, using uh, the workflow condition you can actually make sure and ensure that uh, only users users of a specific group can uh, make a transition and also make sure that that particular field or those particular fields are not present on any edit screen uh, they may be present on the view screen but to modify those fields you can re you can uh, use a workflow transition it could be a global transition so maybe those buttons will appear all the time and uh, people with relevant rights or role will and only they will uh, see the button so when they click on it i mean of course if, they, if the condition is true they will see th if the condition is true then they will see the button and they can of course uh, make a change in the field and that is it this is of course a simple way of doing it and if you want to learn how to do it what you can do is you can go to your workflow and uh, go to your specific transitions uh, uh, conditions and you will find a lot of conditions on even on cloud so you have things like user in a group user in a project role so when you use something like user in a project role you should be able to um, then uh, make sure that these only these users are able to are able to make a transition and that is it that is of course a very simple way of doing it but uh, this is how you should uh, plan the work or configure jira and uh, make sure your process is all around uh, these workflows so rely, rely on the workflow in this particular case of course it is not ideal all the time because maybe maybe you um, want to give some message to the user or uh, maybe you want to um, display let us say some validation error that you know you're not administrator you're not project manager and only they can make a change but i think uh, once you implement and roll out jira and uh, people know about these things i think it's all about educating them and uh, letting them know that uh, you need to have this particular role to make a change to these fields so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you thank you very much bye bye